This is News 3 Sports. Well, we are less than 24 hours away from the opening of high school football. One of the most intense opening week matchups always comes from Jackson County. A special bond connects the towns of Murfreesboro and Carbondale. Ashley Hoyer has more on this rivalry. It's our Sports Extra Spotlight Game of the Week. There is no other word to describe the relationship between Murfreesboro and Carbondale than rivalry. The two teams have played each other for the past 87 years. Carbondale owns the record 47 to 40. It's just always been intense. It's Jackson County bragging rights, and you can throw out records, and you can throw out everything else, and kids are just always going to play hard. Our community is pretty intertwined with their community, pretty tight, and, and you know, kids know each other. Both teams struggled to win games last season. In fact, the Red Devils have only won four games in the last seven years. Forget about the past and just move on. This is a new bunch of kids, and... You know, they've got new goals and, and, you know, ideas what they want to get done. So, you know, this is a new year. Despite the Red Devils' lack of Ws, the Terriers are preparing as if they're going up against a South 7 team. Any team can beat any team. But, uh, we're still, we're still going to come after them like we take on Mount Vernon or Belleville. Yeah, they're not really a bad team. You can't really underestimate them. With six players returning on both sides of the ball, the Terriers will bring experience to the table, whereas the Red Devils are going to be a younger bunch. I don't see that as a negative for us this year, though. You know, if we can play to our, you know, our talent level, we're going to be okay. What would a win mean to the two teams? I think that we'd be fired up and ready to go for the next week. I think we'd bring a lot of morale in. It was at the best tone we've had in years. Oh, I love it. It's the best. It'd be probably one of the greatest games I ever played in. Whichever team it is that comes out on top Friday night, they will have the Jackson County bragging rights. In Jackson County, Ashley Hoyer, News 3 Sports.